Hello and welcome to episode 180 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making a rope and a halter rope and demonstrating their usage. So this episode is only on ropes that you can lead animals with because I appreciate there are other types of rope used with creating boats but for the purpose of this episode it's just for them two ropes. But first say hello rainstorm hi everyone rainstorm here right okay so thank you um tosh for pointing out in a comment that uh, we've not covered uh, the halter ropes so this set episode is dedicated to tosh who mentioned that in a comment thank you very much tosh i hope all is well with you down under Okay, moving along. The rope tool is in um, was in episode 34, part 2, and it's 4 minutes 25 seconds in. Uh, but make sure that you use oak for ma making the rope tool, because back then I used cedar. I just had this cedar, cedar uh, addiction and didn't realise that being a tool, it needed oak. So bear that in mind. Any tools that you make... Uh, you should make them out of oak if they're a wooden tool, not cedar. Cedar's for just about every. Cedar slows rot, whereas uh, oak is more durable for working with the tools. Okay, let's start then with the first rope. So usage. Ropes are used in the construction of catapults, wells, fences and rope traps. Some items may be hauled up and down ladders of a structure by using a rope. They may also be used for leading up to four creatures, one per rope. Many creatures can be led without taming and these include bison bulls, calves, cows, chickens, hens, horses, roosters, pigs and sheep. Bear in mind though, to lead four animals, one per rope means you will, of course, need four ropes with you. Only the commander of a boat or cart can lead animals. Passengers are not able to lead animals. <coughs> Excuse me. Quality of the rope tool affects your chance of making rope. Quality of the wemp fibre determines the maximum quality of the finished rope. Ropes cannot be improved. Ropes can be stored in a bulk storage bin. Ropes can be combined. The skill used when making a rope is cunningly enough rope making. You will need 0.65 kilograms of wemp fibre in order to make a rope. Okay, so I'm going to get to um, improve uh, grinding your rope making skill in a little while. Um, it's best really mentioning that before the halter rope and you'll see why. Okay, so let's make a rope. So if I bring up my inventory and if I bring up my skills window, you'll notice my rope making's at 40.91. You'll notice there's a three times after the rope making. That's because um, I must have died at some point and that's the experience I've yet to get back that it, I lost through dying off my rope making skill. Just so you know why there's a three times after it. Okay to make the rope you activate your rope tool. Notice mine's 40 quality and you would right click on the fibre but if, to get the fibre remember that you grow wemp plants so in order to get fibre you right click you activate your wemp plant right click and crush that will turn it into a wemp fibre you'll see here that I've combined a load so I've got 32 kilograms worth because remember I said you need 0 0.65 so you'd need a minimum of two wemp fibres in order to make the rope. Okay, let's quickly put that in BSB because I don't want that extra one there. Right, okay, so to make the rope, activate your rope tool, right click the wemp fibre, create ropes, and you'll see that I've got a 92% chance uh, with a rope making skill, remember, of 40. So let's do that. And also bear in mind the quality of the WEMP fibre is 79.50. So I've made a 79 quality rope. Let's do, I'm going to do four in total. You'll see why in a bit. So let's do another one. 
In fact, let's show you the rest through the crafting window. So now I'm going to type rope. And if we scroll down, you'll see there's the rope there. Um, I think I mentioned it uses the rope. Yeah, I did. So let's add that to the crafting window. There we go. Let's whack that up to free. Create. Okay, you can see there I've made them from all different qualities. That very first one was very lucky. 79.50, very lucky. But you can see the low end was 1220. I might make some more ropes in a little bit. Anyway, right, so that's how you make a rope. We'll get to leading animals once I've made the halter rope. Let's just switch back to my notes and see what I was going to mention next. Okay, well next, moving on to the halter rope. Usage. A halter rope is used, used to lead up to four animals at once. So, you can either use four ropes or one halter rope. Many creatures can be led without taming, the same as what I read to you under ropes. Uh, again, only the commander of a boat, exactly the same as what I read to you under ropes. Halter ropes cannot be used to haul items up or down ladders. Halter ropes cannot be stored in the bulk storage bins. Thank you, Rainstorm, for pointing that out. And a lot of the other stuff, of course. At 22 rope making, there's a 6% 6 chance to create with an 81 quality rope. At 40 rope making, there's a 6% chance to create with a 28 quality rope. Halter rope cannot Quarter ropes cannot be improved. So right, let's now get to the uh, skill training for uh, making ropes. And the halter rope is the reason why you're going to need to grind that. I would recommend you get your rope making skill to at least 40. Yes, you heard me correctly. You need to get it to at least 40. So in order to do that, you're going to need a ton of um, wemp. Fortunately, Rainstorm has got plenty on her deed, as you can see here. Look at that, she's got like nearly 1,500 Wemp plants, which can then be turned into Wemp fiber, and she's got 527 Wemp fibers, all 79 quality, so that is definitely a bonus. Okay, right, so the halter rope. How do we make the halter rope? Well, I'm going to show you and I'm going to fail. I'm, well, I'm going to fail because that's how difficult they are to make. Um, and I want to get across to you how difficult they are to make. And bear in mind, my skill is 40, so it's not too shabby in rope making. Anyway, to make the halter rope, we need to activate a rope. Notice I'm going for my highest quality one and right click on another rope so i'm going to do the 53 quality create uh, ropes and you'll see that the halter rope is 27 percent now if i activate my 12 and go to the 47 it's unavailable so you see the quality of your rope i would not recommend un using underneath quality 28 so that rope there useless it's gone let's make another one see if i can do a bit better oh yeah much better so uh, let's go for mid-range though if i try in fact i want to show you with the low quality ropes so let's grab uh four of these So I'm going to use the 28 quality, which I read to you in this episode. So activate that rope, right click this rope, create, you see 6% chance. Now at 6%, you're going to fail miserably. And so I'm going to keep doing this to show you what happens. I'll just keep trying. Notice the damage that these uh, ropes are taking. And then you're going to see what happens. And this will be you, uh, I can assure you. 
lots of failures. Did you explain to them why they make the, um, oh, um, how to grind? I'm sorry, I was, I was grooming the sheep. <laughs> oh no, pain, yes, the grinding, yes, let's show that as well. Right, you can all see what's happened anyway. After taking so much damage uh, through failures, it's now become unavailable. So right, okay, that's what happens if you get... Oh, where's your pile of items? Have you moved them? I did. Oh, I'm just going to drop these for now. Okay. So I'm just going to drop these on the ground. So that's what happens if you keep failing. That That is why you're going to need to grind. So on the subject of training this rope making skill, let's show you how to best grind. Uh, let's get rid of this. Why don't you grind with where you're going to grind? What's that? Come again? Why are we doing, I mean, what, with, let's see. You're going to be making something to grind with, right? Yeah. Why do we use that versus mm, what you just made? Oh, right, yeah, that I was just going to say. So, to grind rope making skill, the best thing that you can make is bowstrings. The reason you use bowstrings is because because they use the minimum amount of material in order to make one. Is it 0 0.01? Sound, I don't know. sound I don't ridiculous. Remember. Let's see if we can show anyway. We'll soon see when I make one. So this is the best way to get your rope making skill up. We're basically I'm going to basically grind loads of um, bowstrings. Let's do it though through the recipe crafting window because it will speed things up tremendously. So let's find the bowstring. And how much was it for a rope itself? Oh, 0 0.65. Okay. Uh, where's the bowstring? Type O in the crafting window. Yeah, I have bowstring there we go okay so rope tool went fine but that's what we need let's add that to the crafting window and there we go 86 percent chance so let's create one and then that will tell us how much material yeah 0 0.01 and you see look my poke rope making is 41 already now so what you do you would um, group to combine as many as you can, which will work out to be a weight of about 32, I think it is, something like that, into a big lump of Wemp fibre. And then you will add it to the crafting window, whack this up to four, and you'll just keep doing this. And you will grind that skill up. And it's going to take a long time. But then it is a halter rope that you're trying to make and it's worthwhile because it'll save you having to carry four ropes around, just one single halter rope. But then and again, what, sorry, go okay. on. I was going to say, what can you do with these bowstrings? You know, because people are going to go, I, I don't want all these bowstrings, so what can you do with them? Well, you can use them for archery, can't you? Making your bows. <clears throat> you can, train. You can, also, you you can, can also use it to make money. Oh, money, yes, of course, you can sell them, yeah, can't you, to your deed. That's what we did, didn't we, on yes. um, independence? Yes. Uh-huh. You grind up at making bowstrings, and then you take your bowstrings over to your deed token and sell them. And the higher the quality, of course, the more money you're going to get for them, so. Very good, Rainstorm, that's exactly right. That's how we paid for our deed, wasn't it, on Worm Online? It's one of the ways, yes. Yeah, one of the ways. <laughs> Whenever we grind on something, we would sell the leftovers to the token. Right, okay, so you can see here, this is Worm Online. Uh, sorry, this is Worm Unlimited. We've got it set to the default, default experience. Uh, everything's set to default except mining actions are set to 21. This lets you know how long you're going to be grinding. Remember, though, the higher your skill, the slower it gets. So... That's another factor. But you can see here, doing bowstrings, it is going up every single time, but only slightly. You're going to be making thousands of these in order to get to uh, where I'm at. 
Okay, so that's grinding up. Well, not that much, but... <laughs> yeah, well, like somewhere it. around that. Right, let's actually make a halter rope now. Enough waffle. So I'm going to use activate my 79 quality rope. And I'm going to combine it with my 77. So let's see what that gives us. 29% chance. That's good enough for me. And I still failed. Oh, there we go. Unfinished halter rope. Right, so I'm going to add that to the crafting window. And I need to add the other two ropes. Oh no, and I added it to the wrong one. Typical. Let's try that again. Yeah, unfinished halter rope. Oh yeah, so... We don't need the rope tool. That's the one. Right, okay, let's whack that up to four, which it's at, and try. Oh, we're getting there. That was one rope added. And there we go. There's a halter rope. And it's 21.73, which isn't too shabby at all. Now I'm going to need one more rope, so let's make another one. Okay, right, so I've got the rope, got the halter rope. Let's now demonstrate using them. I know it will be pretty obvious to most people, but just in case there are some who wonder, we will go and do that. So you've got enough sheep, haven't you, Rainstorm? Oh, plenty. Right, let's go demonstrate on the sheep. First they're on the other side of the pen. Oh, there's some <laughs> here, there's some here. Okay, so to lead an animal, simply activate your rope, right-click the animal, lead. There you go, that starts leading. Now, with a normal rope, if I try and lead more than one animal, this is what happens. Right-click, uh, you don't get an option to lead. Okay, so that's with a normal rope. You can only lead one animal, so I'm going to stop leading. Now I'm going to activate the halter rope. Right-click, lead. He's following. Right-click another one lead. Go find another one. Right click. Lead. Another one. Lead. And let's try a fifth one. Not that it will. Right click. Lead. You would get nowhere if you tried to lead more creatures. So as you can see the maximum that you can lead with a halter rope is four. One, and two, if you three, try, try using the regular rope you're going to get the same message as the halter rope. Yeah, so let's just demonstrate that. So now that I'm leading four with the halter, if I activate the rope, right click, lead, you see you would get nowhere. Thank you, Rainstorm, for mentioning that. So that won't work. Okay, let's take these over here so they're not all in the same area. Notice I didn't have to activate the halter rope in order to stop leading them. As long as you are lead that anim you as long as you're leading the animals, then you can just simply right click on them. So there we go, and that's how that is done. Right, brainstorm, is there anything else you would like to add to all of my waffling? As if that ain't enough for everyone. Darn, I wasn't fast enough. I was checking to see if there is a uh, hot piece for leading and uh Unleading or stop leading actions. Let's see. To make it easier. Yeah. I'm always up for hotkeys, that's for sure. Especially for uh, improving. So useful. Sure. There is a lead and stop leading um, option in the hockey, so you can make one. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Which, so instead of having to sit there and right click on the animal and click the thing, you just hover over the animal and then get your hockey. Hmm. 
I think though I prefer just to use the right click method. Yeah, but there are it. some people out there that get carpal tunnel and stuff using the mouse to do everything. Oh right. So the hotkeys help. Yeah. Well, I got myself a nicer halter rope than the one I had. The other one I've got. So any, uh, let's have a look. Where did I even put it? Um, actually, I better end this episode. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, that was it. Yeah. Okay. If you if you want to say your goodbyes, I will say the outro, and then I'll look for my old crusty halter rope to throw away. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you, Rainstorm, for all of your help, uh, all the materials, all your time, and all your um, effort in explaining things to me. And believe me, viewers, when I tell you, that takes a lot of effort. Um, it does. <laughs> you're not supposed <laughs> to agree with me. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, God bless you, and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.